Hello everyone, Oliver here and today I have Monica and we are going to discuss how she added the Universe Triangle to her art collection. But you know what, before I am getting ahead of myself, let's just introduce Monica and yeah, so Monica, can you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Um, I'm Monica I'm Michael, and I live near Zurich by the lake. Um, I'm interested in art actually. Um, I like uh, everything that is uh, creative and uh, I like to paint myself. And uh, I have uh, uh, different friends from all over the world. They are painters, and so it's nice uh, to see how people express themselves through mm -hmm. painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So when you when you think back and you remember, when was it the first time you got interested in art? I think uh, that's hard to say because uh, I'm interested in art since I'm a child. My father, he always went to, when we were traveling and so, we went to museums and, and museums and we were uh, uh, looking at art because my parents were interested in art too and mm -hmm. they, uh, I have my uh, uh, relatives, they were painters mm -hmm. uh, in my family and uh, they were teachers for paintings and things. Mm -hmm. So I think I grew into, uh, into the art. It's something mm -hmm. natural to me. Mm, I see. So who from your family, you said your relatives, who, who, was, the, who was painters in your family? Um, my uh, from my father's side, mm -hmm. uh, his uh, uncles and uh, from my grandfather, the the cousin and uncles and so they were uh, all uh, painters, mm -hmm. but they were more painting like uh, landscapes mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. my sister, she. It goes kind of through my family. My uh, my sister, she is a good painter too, mm -hmm. and uh, made uh, her profession creative pa profession. And and then my daughter is painting. Mm. Yeah, she she likes to do it. She is an architect, but she's uh, since childhood she's a painter, and they always wanted her that she. Uh, should uh, study uh, art or, or painting, but she said, no, I do this for myself. Mm -hmm. and so, and then, so for work, she is an architect. So it goes kind of through my family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, nice. So that, that's actually, yeah. So you were introduced by your family to art and you basically yeah. had this gift because I find not many people like know how to appreciate art. And I think you're definitely one of the people that really know how to appreciate art. Yeah. Yeah. I think it gives, uh, it's something very, very beautiful to uh, express, uh, uh, for expressing mm -hmm. and for receiving, to give and mm -hmm. to receive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. And um, do you have any, or let, let's say before, before you came to me, and you like selected one of my paintings. Were you already interested in other artists, or did you did you collect from other artists um, already artworks? Yes, I okay. have from different uh, artists. I have uh, paintings mm -hmm. since a long time, actually, because I look at the paintings. For me, it. I look at the paintings, sure, that I like how, how they look like, but 
I see kind of, I have uh, several friends, they are artists, and it, it's always nice to, uh, to see uh, their paintings, and then I say what I uh, see in the paintings, and then they say, yeah, it's amazing you, uh, how you uh, uh, see behind the paintings. Mm. Yeah. Okay, interesting, cool. So, yeah, yeah and what what is the kind of style? Yeah, the, the do do you like certain styles of art specifically, or yeah, what's your interest there with the different styles? Uh, um, actually, I like. It depends. I really like. Uh, the paintings, uh, how they come over to me, mm -hmm. if they speak to me, if they say something. So I have different paintings, but more of them, I, uh, yeah, I have different paintings, uh, more figure uh, paintings, or at some time just uh, the colors, different colors, and so, yeah, and these were uh, kind of paintings that. Uh, are made of natural uh, things, mm -hmm. like when the painter not only works with uh, uh, a paint, paint mm -hmm. with natural material too, artworks. But I uh, like no, uh, normal paintings too. I really like. Uh, so, so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you like um, abstract, you like um, yeah. landscape, Portraits, figurative, like you, you in general like art. Yeah, I like, I like the, the expression, the what the pictures tell me, mm. and then the colors, different colors, and some paintings they come closer, and other paintings I think this is a beautiful painting, uh, and everything, but uh, maybe it's not so. Uh, going so deep or so yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so and also has your do you see a change like a development uh, how your interest in art changed over time did this change mm, not not really because I have really different paintings even I have Paintings, they are uh, very um, uh, like figures, or uh, I don't know how you say, like like not so abstract. Mm -hmm. They are really clear paintings, mm -hmm. but they uh, I like them too. Mm -hmm. What I don't have so much is um, like. Uh, when it's more like uh, not a painting, more like um, uh, how you say for this uh, Zeichnung. Aha, uh -huh, more uh, drawing. More drawing. Yeah. But okay. I like drawing when it's like more more simple or figures mm -hmm. like uh, graffiti or or figures or like that. Mm -hmm. Then I like to actually. It's always when the the picture has a, a real meaning. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, and how do you determine, like, when do you, yeah, when do you determine the, the painting that you see has a real meaning to you? It, because it attracts me. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I, when I go to an uh, exhibition, from painters and then I go through and then some uh, paintings they attract me mm -hmm. more others uh, uh, they, I like them they uh, it's nice but they don't attract me so much I see I see okay ma many people they talk I mean when I talk to collectors or art lovers I often hear the terms of you know the painting just needs to connect to me <laughs> yeah yeah, it, it's very, it's a very interesting thing because this uh, connecting is so individual. It's so different for everybody, and yes. it's a quite interesting thing. So, 
why don't you tell us a bit more yeah the disconnection how does this is this connection more feeling to you or yeah is it this wow effect that you see you just you just love it or is it do you feel something special that makes you say yeah i want to have this yeah yeah it's more for me it's uh like this way when i see the painting then uh i get a feeling to it mm -hmm. and the feeling can be different i can mm -hmm. look at the painting and i get the feeling oh this is very beautiful in the colors Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. or the painting is very beautiful. Uh, it tells me something. Mm -hmm. Or I have a painting from a friend of me, and uh, uh, I saw that, and then uh, it was in a big hall, and then, and then we were looking at it from very uh, far, and the near, and then I was looking for, and then I said. This painting, it has something like, uh, like, uh, uh, I don't know the word in English. Um, Maybe say it in German. Ein Kelch. Ein Kelch. Or uh, uh, ein Gefäß, uh, uh, a vase. And, and then I said, it's like the blood goes in there and then it has this balance like the cross and here comes the thing in and then he said this is incredible because I when he was painting this thing and he said yeah it's the 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 symbolic it's exactly the symbolic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what he uh, was painting and it, it's the the key of Nile mm. and this is the from the the, the key of Nile is the symbol you have, and this is this, like the, the like a, a mop, you know, where the blood goes in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's something like uh, religious or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I have another painting from another friend from Spain, and he painted, uh, he asked me about I don't have that painting, but he asked me what I see there, and then I see, I see this and this, and I see like inside, and I get this feeling in my stomach, and then it goes like this. And then he said, uh, he's a Spanish guy, and he said to me, "Oh, Monica, do me do it this new this, and this is uh, that uh, the meaning that I uh, take him the clothes off that." He said it was exactly like that when he was painting first. Uh, then he got kind of, oh, this is not right. And then he went like mm -hmm. this and this. And, and then out of that expression, he painted the painting. And afterwards, it was a very, very uh, beautiful uh, uh, painting like this. And mm -hmm. I felt that. Mm. In painting. That's what I mean. Uh, I have so, uh, sometimes paintings come this way to me, and then I literally feel it. I can feel it, some emotions or, or things like that. Or then mm -hmm. I have paintings I just like from the, how it looks like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing. So it sounds like yeah, you really you have an eye and you you feel you feel what's behind the painting. You feel what the artist tried to express, or maybe just express. The, I, I mean, I know it the same for me when I'm sometimes painting something and I'm getting angry. Then this energy goes into the painting that I'm having this energy, but it's also an expression, and even that can create something very special that you couldn't have in, imagined. And for somebody else, this is then something very valuable actually yeah, yeah. exactly mm -hmm. that's what i meant with this uh, uh guy from barcelona and he said really uh it's uh, and that's true this is real authentic art mm -hmm. like they bring it on the can canvas mm -hmm. what what mm -hmm. they uh what they feel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is in that moment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Exactly. Yeah, cool. So, 
when we go back again and let's like we go back and you think back when you basically met me and I know you were one of my my early collectors right you yeah that was in the very very beginning when I kind of started out <laughs> so yeah I'm very curious what what made you follow my art or what made you yeah what made you interested in my art um when when I went to uh, your house there the first time and then I saw the different uh, paintings you have mm -hmm. and the place uh, where you painted in, mm -hmm. uh, that was very uh, cool, that was really nice uh, because I saw where you are working and then the different paintings were uh, um, could see like your your uh, development like mm. in the paintings when I was walking through the house and then I because I saw uh, that you have something that you could express something that uh, turned me uh, uh, to this um, I saw you have something that you can express mm. and and this uh, attracted me and then you had this exhibition mm. in in Lutz, in Zug. yes yeah and that was really nice because i could see all the different paintings in the different uh, uh, places mm -hmm. and i it was really the nice thing was how I could see how you, your way is going, how you are uh, growing in your paintings, with your paintings. Mm, nice, yeah. nice. And then I had this idea, uh, because I'm um, a dancer and I move and so, and then I thought, oh, because you can express so nicely, uh, uh, these things and then I ask you if you could paint something on a dress on a uh, dancing dress for me true. and that was pretty in the early days when mm -hmm. you started to do that mm -hmm. and and this uh, was really nice I thought when I express and I dance I can uh, express this it's nice to have mm. this, uh, yeah your uh, your vivid, it's very vivid, your mm -hmm. pain, and that's beautiful, that's so the, uh, the energy is flowing, is in movement, and this is something that I really like in your paintings, that mm. I see the, the, the space, the movement, I see the elements mm. coming out in your paintings, mm. that's is something that I really like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. So yeah, for the people that, for the people that are watching that don't know be, before, I actually I kind of did both. I did art, but also clothes. So you were talking about that I made a custom-made like dress for you, right? I mean, yeah. I painted it for you, and then you dance with it. This is true. I actually forgot about that. That's also something yeah. I I did for you, and I think. After that, you, you first got this, this dress that I painted, and then you got the, the triangle, the universe triangle. No, 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 no. I got first the triangle, and then I asked you if you could uh, make me a dress. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. And I went. Triangle yeah. I saw in your, in, the, in your house. Mm -hmm. It was on top of your door. Mm hmm. And then I thought, oh, this is very, this, the shape of the picture and like the, the planets or uh, the things that uh, you had on it. And on the little corner, it was like a, a small, um, uh, little ball that kind of uh, mm -hmm. started. Mm -hmm to grow into the bigger balls and bigger balls and then uh, of the dynamic of this picture. Uh, it's small, but it has a beautiful dynamic. Mm, cool, yeah. 
Yeah, um, it's a great painting. I, I loved it very much. And I think I just had one, one of these, like, yeah, one triangle, that was it. And that's what I do often. I, I somehow like to do things once <laughs> and then there is basically one kind and the others are, even though they're kind of similar, they're still very different. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So th did you have in, when you bought it, I think we had a phone call. Is this right? Because I, I think you didn't buy it at the, at the spot. We had a phone call and that's if I'm not wrong. No, hmm? I was in your house. Yes. And you had it on the top of your door. Yes. And then when I was there, I thought I'm interested in that painting. Okay. And then uh, uh, we were talking about it and I said, I, uh, uh, I think I will uh, buy the painting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you had another one. Mm -hmm. With this green, kind of uh, a smaller one, uh, not a small one, but this, a little bit bigger one. Mm -hmm. And in there, it was the same thing like uh, a beginning, but I saw like people in there. And, and so, and I said that I'm interested too, mm -hmm. but I knew that I will buy this one. Mm. So, there again, you, you like, you felt. You, you you had this intuition kind of this this feeling that wow and and you you felt like i want to buy this one and you even said you knew you will buy this one yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah cool and did you have in mind any special a specific place when you bought it uh no um i just knew that uh uh i uh, take this uh, picture and I knew that it finds its own place. That's what I do actually all the time because I'm not so actually a person that when I have a, a, like a, a room or something or a wall and I think, oh, I go and I have to buy a picture for this wall. Mm -hmm. I have, I see the picture mm -hmm. and the picture finds the place where to go mm, I see that's very interesting yeah yeah yeah, yeah that would because have yeah. a little bit uh, different uh, or the same thing like they, they come and say oh this is a picture uh, from a very famous painter or something when this picture uh, it doesn't uh, say something to me or so and I can uh, then I wouldn't buy it, even if they say, but this is a, a, a very good investment mm -hmm. for the picture. For me, I have to like the picture. Mm. I mean, I it has to come to me, you know, and so it will find a place. Mm. And see. sometimes I see pictures and I know exactly for this picture, I need to have that there or there yeah i see okay cool that would have been also my other question like what's the process for you like or how was the process for you to to select this painting but you obviously answered that and it's very interesting because i think some people they really like to you know look at their home and see like on this wall i need a painting it must be like this size around this size and should be these colors uh, because you know my furniture are this color and so for yeah. you it was it was very very different pro process right yeah this is what yeah. i mean it's for me it's more with my paintings i have and i have a lot of paintings mm -hmm. it's more uh that i ha get the paintings for the paintings and not mm -hmm. because i have to put something on the wall mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so this is mm -hmm. different you know yeah from person to person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay cool and you also like touched on something very interesting that's also a topic that has been for me very fascinating and that's that that art is also an investment for for many people but what I realized over the time is there are like the people have different focus so for some they are looking really like investment 
and they don't really care much about how it looks. They really just want to have a good investment, almost as if it would be like gold or, or, or like investment yes. in stocks or whatever. And then there are people yeah. that say, no, I don't really care so much about the investment or, or, or not at all. And I want to have just one that I really, really like. And then I think there's also the, the middle part. And I met really people that invested in just art that they ab absolutely love, that they really connected to and also made a good pick. And the, the art grew like, like a doubled or tripled even. And it was the art, it, it was art pieces that they really loved. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, all, uh, it's a uh, uh, different section, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes the pictures, uh, they, uh, the value goes and they are, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and more an investment mm -hmm. and or it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Did you have that, did you have this? in mind when you when you met me and you saw me painting did you have this in mind like this could also be a good investment that you maybe let, let's say you you think i can make it or do, did you have any thought process processes like that with you now or with uh, actually no, no, with me yeah uh, with, with the with the triangle the thing is always that i i would never buy a picture uh, just for investment. Mm -hmm. For me, comes always first the 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 I like the picture, and when I have pictures, uh, I want to put them on the wall. I want to see the picture. I want to live because I live now. I want to live with these pictures. Mm -hmm. And a collector, mm -hmm. I would love if I would have a big. Uh, uh, like hall or something that would be nice too to have uh, like uh, uh, to do some exhibitions or uh, have beautiful pictures and then mm -hmm. uh, expose them and show them and then to put on other pictures and so that is a nice thing because this is something that you live with the art. Mm. But at mm -hmm. home, and, and then you, you can collect, you have different pictures, but uh, when I cannot uh, ex, uh, show them or express them, I think it's kind of uh, uh, bad because then they are in, uh, in store and, and you don't see them. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you... Did you ever have people come over to, to see the triangle? Uh, yeah, I want the people come to my house. So then they, uh, they look at this and then they ask uh, like uh, what this is and so and then I tell them. Or with my dress especially, when I dance with my dress then I have a lot that he said, oh, where did you get this? And so, and then I tell them, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Only I get, uh, I turn on the light a little bit. Okay, yeah, perfect, yeah, okay. So. Perfect, yeah, it, it was a bit dark, I must say. It gets oh, already okay. late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good, that's very good. Cool. So, yeah, okay. So, and how is it for you now to live with this universe triangle painting? Um, I live with it and when I, uh, uh, it has like where it is, it's a little bit up at the, in the room mm -hmm. and then uh, it has like it's very nice because it has the energy that comes of it it's not always the same mm -hmm. it's like sometimes uh, it, it's uh, it attracts more and it has uh, sends out the energy mm -hmm. and then sometimes i look at it and then i stay with it and uh, uh, 
feel it, the picture. And sometimes when I'm in there, I just walk around and so. So it's different. It's mm-hmm. uh, very lively too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I really like the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It has something like uh, in between, like it's earthy with these red brown colors and it has the fire in it because it comes from the corners down there right. it comes yeah. up and then you have like the big ball uh, in the top triangle mm-hmm. and so it has a very good symbolic to me mm-hmm. yes. yeah mm-hmm. nice and um it's also it's it's the combination is as well like it's ye- yellow in there and, and violet is this also a, like a combination that you really like? Yeah, I I like uh, I like the the colors and and the different elements and even with the white inside inside of yeah. the of the 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 ball like. the ball mm-hmm. and not only uh, the, the first uh, one that is like the. Uh, like shooting out on the right side, it's like shooting out the the balls, and mm-hmm. then they grow bigger, and bigger. And then you have the, the big ball in the mm-hmm. middle. It's like a sun, or a, yeah, like a sun or a star or something like that. And and mm-hmm. then this energy, and they even have, and, and then they have kind of the fiery, the red thing in it, and mm-hmm. then the yellow. And then the earth, you think, because the brown spots are in there too. So it's mm. kind of like uh, um, uh, it, it gets together, like with the space, uh, space in the space, like the earth and this uh, air, earth and air mm. in this, uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, you described it very well. I see like you have really a sense of describing like paintings and what's happening. And it sounds already for me like, wow, was this my painting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's cool. Yeah. And this is a thing I only saw from the beginning in your paintings that you really can express uh, very good like things that you cannot always put in uh, words mm. yeah like yeah. kind of the space in between mm. yeah mm. i like that and okay cool cool that's really nice thank you for that <laughs> it's yeah. nice to hear thank you yeah sure for uh, giving us uh, bring this to to us and to the world of course i mean for me, it's, it's, it's since I started, I couldn't stop anymore. I never had anything like that in my life where I had many interests, many hobbies, but never something that I really couldn't stop. Like, like painting is for me, wow. There's so many ideas, so many possibilities. And it's really the way how I can live my genius the, the best or, or my yeah. talent for the people that don't know what genius is. That's, that's like my, my opinion, that's my biggest talent. Yeah. 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 Sure, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, what I'm curious about is when you, like, it was maybe four, no, maybe three years ago or even longer when you, like, selected this one painting. And when you think, when you bought it till now, did something change in the way you viewed it? You may, maybe you saw it, you saw something different than you do now. How, how did this change or, or did it even change or is it the same? Uh, now I don't understand uh, uh, what change. Uh, what, so, so what's the... The, how you see it, because I mean, sometimes you maybe, you know, you, you look at a painting like three years ago and you saw a certain thing, but then later yeah. it started to change. Or, or, or was it for you like always kind of the same meaning and the same things you saw? Um, actually, the the real of uh, that what attracted me at the first is still here mm. it's not like it never grew like oh 
and how I saw it and kind of I would put something else and so it really uh, stays with his power mm -hmm. this painting and then sometimes when I'm there and then I look at it and then I look closely and that's then I think then I look at it and I see things that, which I because I don't all the time look uh, very closely on it mm -hmm. and then when I look at it from the uh, uh, again then I see the, uh, the, um, the sun or things in it uh, and they are like new mm -hmm. but I know that I saw them before but it's like it's still uh, very lively mm -hmm. and so uh, I think it's a painting that uh, you never get bored on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. nice. That's the thing when, when sometimes when you buy something just because you think, oh, that's a, 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 a nice picture, I could put it here on the wall and so, mm -hmm. but then after a while, yeah, it's nice, but it doesn't uh, send the energy. And this one really, uh, uh, always when I look at it, it it has uh, it stays lively. Mm. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah I, I I understand what you mean. I understand yeah. what you mean. It's just it doesn't get like boring or suddenly you lose the interest. It, yeah, and mm -hmm. even I think it's the more uh, the longer than I uh, when I look at it and I see it. It's uh, uh, sometimes you see something more uh it attracts me more mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the big part or sometimes it attracts me more the the one like the in the corner like it's like a cone <laughs> in the corner like a cone mm -hmm. and from this cone it g grows out the thing and this has a very uh uh deep uh feeling like you can really see it, and this is something that change. Uh, I mean, it's not a change, but it it grows uh, very intense. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So with the time, it 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 the the the, the feeling with it even grew. It, it didn't change, yeah. but it grew. Yeah. Nice. Not change. It, that's what I want to say. It's mm. more like that. It grows. Yeah. It always grows and grows, and it it's not a. Uh, it's not like a change that I see different. Like the 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 picture has still the same uh, power at this, but it it grows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So in the end of the day, why did you see, decide to like buy one of like select an original Hoyas painting? <laughs> Be uh, why? Because. Uh, because I like it. I think it's uh, uh, very, uh, uh, it's very, uh, you paint beautifully and not just beautifully, it has, you have to, to express something. And I like to have the painting uh, in my life and in here and, and and to to look at it and it gives me uh it gives me a uh, uh, good feeling mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah yeah nice would you also recommend to other art collectors to invest in one of my pieces yes yeah Then, yes <laughs> cool yeah. cool and what do you think what sort of art collector would be intri interested in my art style That's uh, it's difficult to say. Um, I think this is too like uh, they have to. Uh, uh, they come and then when they see, they get attracted. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, oh, this one they are interested, or these are interested, or so. It's more like uh, like a lot of painters. They very famous painters. In their time, nobody bought their paintings because the people didn't understand their their painting. 
a, a painting. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, even when they died, they, the, the people saw what they, or felt what they uh, wanted to express. In it's a, a painting, it's not only that you can paint correctly like this and this. Mm -hmm. The really famous painter, painters, they always had to say, they could express something. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you have an example of a famous artist that you that, that you just described? That uh, the people uh, didn't. Uh, yeah, like they they didn't see it in first, but then on one point they. That, yeah. that, that they he couldn't sell his paintings, for example, the very famous uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, yeah. Van Gogh couldn't. Uh, Nobody uh, wanted to uh, buy the paintings, and mm -hmm. afterwards they saw paintings from them uh, that they said, "Oh, you can throw it away; it's nothing uh, special." And, so, <laughs> and they sold it for thousands and thousands of francs. In, in millions. <laughs> that's the yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, fascinating yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that's the thing with art. I mean, what what's the value? It it it's so. Yeah, yeah, as you said, I mean, some people would throw it away, others pay millions. I mean, that, that's for me so fascinating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a lot, of, a lot of famous painters in their time, they really, uh, uh, they had to look that they get the money to eat because they couldn't live from the paintings. Mm -hmm. That's why when they pay, it's in an epoch. Uh, of people and when they say, oh, this is not so, uh, this style and so on, so they mm -hmm. had to grow into, and it's because of, uh, the normal people, when they just uh, uh, buy paintings for, uh, oh, I like or I want to put it on the wall or so, mm -hmm. uh, then they don't understand uh, or they don't feel you don't have to understand, it's more the feeling too, mm. that comes on it for uh, uh, when they really get, that, that the people see what uh, what they uh, express. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But mm. I think uh, with your paintings, because your paintings in, in the time now, mm -hmm. is uh, like your paintings, uh, are very uh, attractive and nice to have in the style how we are living and and uh, that's uh, one thing mm -hmm. uh, what I think is uh, good mm -hmm. how you paint that, that the people uh, like to live with this kind of art mm -hmm. because today you have so many art, art, uh, artists yeah and so many people they are painting uh, and so I think your paintings they really have something to say and, and you are in a good time your style is very good in, in time mm -hmm. and you can show and express the feelings what is mm -hmm. very especially now with the uh, all what happens in these days with Corona and all these things and people come more to themselves and then when they come more to themselves then they can see more and feel more the paintings. Mm. Good point, yeah. Yeah. Good point because... That's really mm -hmm. a thing that they can feel it and you have something to mm -hmm. say with your paintings that is very relevant and very... Uh, uh, helpful too uh, for for these times where we are in in kind of changing mm -hmm. uh, of the world. Yeah, because you express the space in between and feelings and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just now imagining someone that is on the on the fence, like he's deciding should I invest in a piece of art right now or not? And I really mean like a piece of art, an original art, not not a print, not not, not like a picture that you can buy everywhere, but really like an original piece of art. So this person is thinking, is not really sure. 
Should I invest now in a piece of art? And maybe it's it's a gift for someone. Maybe it's it's for the for 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 themselves. Maybe they want to do something good to themselves. Maybe they just always wished for a peak original piece of art, or they just like they need it for their apartment. Whatever the reason is, what would you say? Why should they take action now? You always have to take action now. Because when they have this feeling, then they should do it. Because yeah. they live now. And now, at this moment, this picture talks to them. Mm. And it's the, the best time and the best uh, 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 to invest and, and, and to, to buy it, to take this picture. When they say, feel this, now... Uh, uh, I, this attracts me, and especially now when they kind of um, uh, in these times, uh, it, this picture can bring them uh, a lot of relief too, or a pause when, mm -hmm. when they are at home and maybe they are a little bit struggling or what. Uh, they can sit uh, or stay in front of the picture. Look at it when the picture tell gives them kind of peace, for example, mm -hmm. it, or the the picture can bring them more animo and more that they are more uh, uh, feel energy, better, and better, more okay. energy, for example. It mm -hmm. depends on the picture. Mm -hmm. Or they can sit in front. That's what I do. Uh, sometimes I can sit in front of the picture and then I can meditate. Yeah. With the picture. <laughs> and then you are in interaction. It's not just a flat uh, uh, piece of art. It's something uh, that you can interact mm. with the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I say when they when people think oh yeah and this i really like it and so then i would say yeah when you can afford it and so then you you buy it mm -hmm. yeah 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 very good said thank you monica so yeah. what what would you say is your number number one advice for our collectors Number one advice. Mm -hmm. To get really in uh, uh, get in when they uh, for collecting the picture. I think too it must the pictures have to uh, give them something, some attraction, mm -hmm. that they have a, a connection. They have to have a connection with a picture, that they never uh, buy something wrong. They always buy something that really, uh, they are connected with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I say that with actually it's with everything but with art i think when you, you just you can do it if you have enough money and so then you buy this and this and this because i like this and this uh, but i think even then they should buy the things that they are can get a connection with the picture mm. good point yeah 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 i see yeah yeah I mean, I had last time also conversation with one of my collectors and she said something similar, like that we are used to buying so much stuff, so many things, and uh, but we don't really often buy things that are really meaningful to us and that we really have a connection to. So we basically yeah. used of yeah, buying, 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 but then we throw stuff away because we don't have any connection. And what she t told me was exactly something similar, like you said, that this, like, uh, art where you connect it to is not something that you just 
buy and throw away on one point. This is something you have forever and that you also can pass on on your children or whatever. It's like something that stays, something more valuable than just stuff. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is exactly the thing uh, because we are uh, uh, in a time that we we like this and this and this and then we buy it and buy it and we don't even know what we have. Mm. in the cupboard, for mm. example. And that's ex explicit for pictures, art collectors or people uh, like with pictures. You have to have this connection. And when you have this, then it's, then it's real, then it's authentic. And it's not just I buy it and then it is uh, in a corner and they don't even know Uh, mm -hmm. what they have and this is uh, I think this is sad mm -hmm. for, for the art yeah true very true yeah so Monica let's say people that are listening right now to this interview they are saying I would love to talk to Monica I want to know more about her and you know how her path to art and yeah just like they want to connect to you where can they find out more about you Where can they find what? Yeah, but where can they find you? So where can co they contact you on Facebook or what, what is a good place to reach out to you? Uh, they have, yeah, I'm on Facebook, I am. Or in, uh, I have an email. Mm -hmm. Or I have uh, my website, mm -hmm. from, but from my uh, movement mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. that I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to give like like your your on Facebook? It's Monica Michel. Yeah. M M I C H H E L, -E -L. Michel. Yeah. Exactly. Monica, yeah. like M O N I K A. K -A. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good and yeah, I think that that people can connect to you and maybe also ask you about your dancing sessions. Maybe they want to dance with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, good. That's it for now. Thank you so much, Monica. It was really a pleasure talking to you, having this conversation to get to know more about you and your interest in art. It was really fascinating to hear your story. And yeah, guys, I hope you liked this interview. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a great time and hope to see you very soon. Thank you, Monica, again. Have a good time and see you soon. You too. Thank you. Thank you.